This is how I turn my voice into a violin using controller voice. Hey, I'm Jeff, one of the co-founders of Controller Voice, where we are building the newest music tools for music creators like yourself. And today I want to show you how to swap your voice with one of our instruments, but also some pro tips on recording your vocal ideas to get the best possible sound. Plus, I'll cover how to make your swapped instrument sound even more realistic when you bring it back into your DAW. So let's get to it. All right, I'm hearing a violin melody in my head and I'm gonna sing it out, but before we do that, here's how you should record your vocal ideas to get the best possible results using controller voice. You need to make sure you're recording your vocals in a quiet environment, so make sure you close your doors, close your windows. The cleaner the vocal, the better the output from controller voice. Record your vocals completely dry, so no reverb, no effects. This will keep the transformation clean. You can use a touch of pitch correction but don't overdo it. I'm just going to add a slight correction to make the conversion more accurate. Adding compression is a great way to make the vocal idea more punchier. Let's bring up the threshold. Dun, 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 dun. And let's use any EQ to brighten up the vocal and just bring up those higher frequencies. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's bounce it out and swap it to a violin. Okay, now we've got a clean recording. This is the fun part. Let's upload our vocal idea to controller voice and use the voice to instrument feature. So let's sign in. What we want to do is go to swap voice. Then you want to select your instrument. So let's go to the instruments tab. We have a selection of instruments right now. We have a violin, a tenor saxophone, a saxolin, which is a mixture between, you get the point, and a talk box. But right now, let's swap our vocal idea for a violin. All we have to do is browse for the files, so open it up. Now you have the option to isolate the instruments, remove any reverb, but this is mainly for swapping your voices. So we're gonna keep this unticked for now. And you can also change the pitch of the violin. So we can go up semitones or an octave or down an octave, but we're gonna keep this normal at zero. And we've got some advanced settings here. We wanna keep it to the exact pitch. We wanna keep the accent strength to one, keep the volume dynamics to match input, and we wanna keep the consonants to similarity. Now this is where the magic happens. Let's click swap voices. Now this is gonna take a few minutes to swap your vocal into the violin, but I guarantee you, it's worth the wait. So that's done and it only took about 45 seconds. Ooh, that sounds really good. It even has the bows of the violin. It sounds super realistic. But I'm gonna show you how to make it sound even more realistic. So let's bring it back into our DAW. Okay, so we're back in our DAW. I'm using Logic Pro X, but you can use absolutely anything, any DAW, FL Studios, Ableton. So let's find our new violin instrument, drag it back into your DAW. <laughs> So let's make it more realistic by adding a few plugins. First, I'm gonna add a noise gate just to clean up the spaces in between that violin to make it a bit more sharper. Turn the reduction up. Let's mess with this threshold until we get a nice clean take. <laughs> And then I want to add a distortion. Now you can use any distortion, any stock distortion that your DAW has. I'm going to use Logic's Chroma Glow. Now distortion is a great way just to brighten up the vocal and add a little bit of drive and make it a bit more crunchier. Then I want to EQ it again, just to bring out some of the high frequencies. And finally, we're going to use some reverbs just to make it sound like we're in a church. I'm going to use Logic's Chroma Verb. Let's pick Concert Hall and let's just mess with the mix. Not really liking the Concert Hall. Maybe it's a chamber that we need. Yeah, that sounds much better. And then finally, I'm gonna use Logic Stock Delay, Stereo Delay. Let's bring the delay mix all the way down and dial it back in until we're happy. Now all we have to do is add some music and we're done. And that's how you turn your voice into a violin using controller voice. Remember, a clean vocal recording is key to get the best results. Make sure to follow for more controller voice music production tips. And don't forget to explore all the creative ways to transform your voice into any instrument. See you in the next video. Peace.